So today, let's look at this uh, mill drill here. Um, basically, you know, it's got all the functionality of a drill press, but it also has this this table here. It's a X Y table, so you can move from left to right or from front to back. And the idea with that is you have these edge cutting tools here. These aren't normal drill bits, so they're designed to uh, cut into the side rather than you know drilling into. Um, so these come in various sizes. This is three quarter inch. Um, you can see it doesn't really have a, a drill tip, so you got to drill your hole and then do your edge cutting. Um, typically, uh, you put these these collets in uh, the instead of the drill check, and what that does is you get the thread there. The thread pulls the collet up into uh, the slot layer and gives you a really tight um, grasp on your on your bit. Um, but that's uh, let's get started with uh, drilling out a groove for a vibration hold-down fixture that I'm working on. Okay, first we want to start with a pilot hole. So I'm uh, starting with a step bit here. I'm going to cut to the quarter inch part of the step bit for the quarter inch uh, little bit. Using a little cut cutting oil here. A bit from getting too hot. There we go. Now the the drill is in the same position. We just want to we have our mill bit now in the chuck. So now we're going to get started with the milling out. There we go. groove. So this will be a nice adjustable hold-on fixture uh, once we're done with it. But uh, clean that up a little bit with a file and that should be good to go. Product and uh, we got those uh, grooves filled with uh, these slidable um, adjustable hold-on fixtures. So basically we can have the vibration table here and the half inch bolts are gonna hold the angle iron. And I'm gonna have my, my debt right here being held down by the angle iron. And then I'll be able to adjust that up to it snug so it won't walk around on the vibration table. But yeah, that's, that's what the drill mill can do for you. It's a good addition to the shop. Not quite as versatile as something like a CNC mill. It's still a really good tool.